The Kelly Gang were either folk heroes or cop killers depending on whom you ask. Though the Kelly Gang met their end in a flurry of fire and bullets, their legend endures. During Ned Kelly's lifetime and afterward, many Australians embraced the outlaw as a folk hero. He was a kind of Robin Hood, an anti-establishment renegade committing brazen acts like burning poverty-stricken people's mortgage documents and writing a manifesto defending the poor. Indeed, to some, Kelly was a symbol of national identification, as well as a beloved larrikin. Others believe, however, at the end of the day, Kelly was just a murderer, despite his idealistic or practical motivations. Ed Kelly's skeleton was discovered, but his skull wasn't. After Ned Kelly's death, his body was unceremoniously dumped into a mass grave, which was eventually discovered and excavated. In 2011, experts positively identified Kelly's bones based on DNA from a living relative. Kelly's uncovered skeleton was missing its skull. Consequently, when Kelly's remains were finally buried with the rest of his family in 2013 beneath concrete, to ensure his skeleton won't go missing again, they were laid to rest without a head. Ed Kelly's famous iron suit sits in an Australian museum. Ed Kelly's iron suit lives on in infamy. The suit is on display at the State Library of Victoria in Melbourne, where visitors can inspect the dents and marks left by bullets in the firefight. How did the suit survive the shootout at Glen Rowan? Policemen involved in the Kelly Gang's last stand took the armor as souvenirs. Eventually, the suit fell into the State Library of Victoria's possession for the happy retirement its original owner never enjoyed. Police recruited Aboriginal trackers to locate the Kelly Gang. The Victoria Police pulled out all stops to track down and apprehend the colony's most notorious bushranger. Aboriginal trackers and members of the native police were instrumental in the manhunt for Ned Kelly and his associates. In fact, trackers could trace the footsteps of the Kelly gang based on their footprints. This was possible since the men liked to wear fashionable boots with a distinctive heel. Despite their essential contributions to the hunt for Kelly, native police officers, and the trackers didn't get the recognition or compensation they deserve. In fact, though there was an PC 8000 reward for Kelly, none of them got an opportunity to collect it. Ed Kelly may have cursed the judge who sentenced him to death. Ed Kelly may have cursed the judge who sentenced him to death. The Kelly Gang was Australia's most wanted outlaws. The Kelly Gang was Australia's most wanted outlaws. The suit saved Ned Kelly's life, but had a key weakness. The suit saved Ned Kelly's life but had a key weakness. The Kelly gang was cornered after they took out a suspected informant. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.